Hi there, my name is Hispanic Crow and welcome back to the channel. Here we are at my uh, main multiplayer screen because apparently we have something waiting for us. Kavagram messaged me on Discord and said, when you see it, dot dot, well, dot dot, you may redecorate as you please. That's all I'm gonna say. So we're gonna hop on and see if we can figure out what he's talking about. And we'll talk about a few of the things that uh, I managed to do off camera. But uh, so far, not seeing anything abnormal. There's that, but, but I did that. We'll talk about that in a second. Ooh, that's a new person. Hmm. Not seeing anything just yet. This is normal. We have uh, Kavagram's alliance. Um, this is new, but I don't think Kavagram did that. Hmm. Hmm. The voxel map and everything did get updated for 1.16, as I'm I'm sure I had it in the last video, but I'm uh, switched to my setup downstairs, which doesn't have it. Hmm. Well, uh, while we're wondering what he did, um, let's talk about a couple of things that I did. So, um, a couple episodes, I think in my mining one, I managed to find a slime chunk, and uh, I may be looking in the wrong place. Damn you and your crypticness! Alright, um, yeah, so, uh, I, I found a slime. So, I knew that there were some slime chunks around, and I managed to find one right down here. Very lucky. So I made... Uh, God, the lag. I need to figure that out. So I made the world's worst slime farm. Um, basically, I dug out three levels. Oh, and here's one. There we go. Bring it on. Kill your babies, too. So, I did the slime farm uh, because I I don't necessarily need slime, and I have this little guy here. I mean, this is the world's worst. I don't even have anything to collect it if they do come down here. Uh, that's what the scaffolding um, platform is up there, just a place for me to sit and see if I can find some. So I managed to get quite a few slime blocks. Um, and the reason that I did this is not because I need slime, because I want to make an ink farm. And I found one that looks pretty good, pretty impressive. Um, and I plan on working on it today if I can find a guardian farm, or a um, guardian temple underwater. But that farm requires slime blocks and uh, like two flying machines. So that's what I did. Um, I managed to get a slime farm, very bad one, so that I can get an ink farm. We're gonna want the ink farm. Yeah, let's bring it on. <laughs> We're gonna win an ink farm because I want to expand the cloud. Um, that will soon be a cloud. Um, okay, and what else did we do? Um, I have started to get some decent tools back. Kavagram at the Herbalist has a bunch of villagers uh, that you know I could trade with. Uh, because we are alliances, because we are allies, I should say, um, he agreed to let me trade with his villagers. And in exchange, um, you know, we can trade resources. Um, you can have some gunpowder from the creeper farm and string. And I suppose also slime, if you know, we're willing to go that route. And maybe ink sets after I get... Uh, get that farm set up, but, um, so he let 
me trade with his villagers, and he has a mending villager. Very nice. And an unbreaking three villager. So I got a whole bunch of paper, I ran over there, and uh, I've started enchanting some stuff. So now I have this sword called Starstruck. I have this pick called Star Miner. Um, and I have this chest plate, not named anything right now. That's pretty much all I got right now. And my uh, wings and stuff, but that's, you know, didn't do anything with, with that. I did have my Silk Touch pick, but unfortunately I died and I lost that. So this is all I got right now. Fortune 2 though, not too bad. Uh, but yeah, also you can see we got ourselves a horse. I've been doing a whole lot of flying trying to find a guardian temple for the squid farm. Have not found one yet, but I did find a village, um, luckily enough. Um, I suppose it must have been unrated, or at the very least not rated well enough, because I found a saddle in a chest in there. And I tamed this horse, and now he's pulling our trade caravan. So yeah. Lots of good stuff. Well, I don't know what Kavagram was talking about. I suppose we should maybe, maybe we should explore a little bit. See if we can find something. Um, he said we, when we find it, we could decorate it however we want. But he also said we might be looking in the wrong place. Hmm. Ouch. Um, I really don't see anything around here. Could it be in the nether? I know that skeleton's gonna be on the other side. Right, let's see. Okay, I guess he's not. Hmm. Hmm. Nothing in here. Damn you, Kavagram. You know, one thing that I've learned from, uh, you know, I'm a huge follower and supporter of the Blue Flame. As you can tell, I've started the Blue Flame cult. But, one thing that I learned, unfortunately, is that uh, Blue Flame, while it's really pretty and cool, does not give off the same amount of light as normal torches and other light sources. So, unfortunately, there have been a few cases where I've gone into some place and blown up. As you can see, this place, multiple explosions. Um, that is a patch up job I'll have to fix, I'll have to do some other time. And I'll need to consider what to do about, you know, replacing the torches and stuff back. We'll see, we'll see. He didn't put it in the Blue Flame Cult headquarters, did he? I mean, technically speaking, that episode hasn't come out yet, so that would be pretty impressive. Mmm. Nope. Looks the same in here. Oh. Okay. Well, I don't know. Um, I think we're going to cut it for just a moment, uh, because I'm definitely not going to be able to find this, whatever this is, that Kavalgram hid. Uh, hi there. So yeah, we'll cut it for now, and I'm going to go searching for an ocean monument. And when I find one, we will be back. See you soon.
Alright, so great news guys, managed to find a guardian temple underwater. So um gonna place that new head there in the headroom. Uh just flew around, saw there was an ocean. Excellent. But I did just receive a clue from Kvagram regarding his uh secret thingamajig. So he said um something like if I had found it he would know, which means it's gotta be, it's gotta be over at the, at, at their base, at the Herbalist base. I mean, that's the only thing I can think of. Now, if it's not there, then, well, I'll probably cut this out and I'll feel like a fool. Let's fly on over and take a look. All right, here we are. We made it. Now, he's on the mini-map, so he's definitely here. Let's see if we can find him. There are ya. Mm. Ah, here he is. Okay. Alright, here I am, Kvagram. What do you think? Where... Is that a hint? It's up there? Alright, I'm gonna follow you. What do we got? Um. Alright, got some rooms. Um, our banner. Oh, Embassy of the Night Sorcerers. That's a good idea. Never would have thought about that. Huh. I like it. Am Ambassador Blue Flame of the Night Sorcerers. Okay. I, I like it. Oh, this must be the blue campfire we left here. Or, uh, that appeared here. Right. Well, well, that's smart. Thank you. Um, I'll have to decorate it. Thank you. I'll have to decorate it. Um, I don't know what I'll... I don't know how. How I'll, I'll do that, but... We will see. Well, it's good. Thank you. <laughs> Alright. Away I go. Oh wait, no. Uh, I actually, better idea. Hold on. Uh, don't die. Here. And away I go. All right. Now that we finally figured out Kvagran's mystery, let's go ahead and roll that time lapse of making that ink farm. <laughs>
that is the ink farm done. I, uh, I hung out there for a little bit, did some AFKing. Um, so let's take a look at this, and I've also dug up some sand. So we've got a decent amount of ink. And I also dumped off some tools in here. But yeah, so I reckon next episode, we will go ahead and start expanding this. But for now, we can't do that. Um, this episode is going to be a little bit long because something is happening. Kavagram messaged me and explained that uh, we're going to do a little bit of a... Well, I guess we're kind of declaring war. <laughs> war on the Storm Masters. Um, I'll ask him specific as to what exactly is happening, but uh, yeah, uh, let's hop on over and uh, me and mine grinder and Kavagram, we're going to set up. Um, I have arrived. Let's spread some of these melons. All right, where's your fancy banner? I want to see it. Right, uh, got one, got one right here. That's the new design. Ooh, I do. I like that a lot more. That's like a, it's like a giant uh, sunflower, beanstalk thing. Right, I'm gonna. Yeah. We can have a couple of those. Those of time um, once we're done with uh, this little raid, <laughs> whatever we're gonna call it. Yes, sounds good. We'll, we'll put it in the museum, or the treasure room. Okay, I'm gonna grab a few leaves, uh, spruce leaves, dark oak. Uh, let's see, some annoying flowers. Uh, Is there anything I should carry? Oops. Uh, let's grab the super kit. Okay, that's uh, all I'm gonna dare to take with me. So now you just pick what you feel like you can build with. Okay. It's funny because um, Steel, you know what, I think it was yesterday, Steel was talking about how he was actually on a search looking for pink tulips. You have a whole stack here, we're going to spam them with pink tulips. <laughs> yeah, they, they only grow in flower biomes, don't they? Yes, yeah, he was, uh, he was trying really hard to find one. <laughs> I found two. Oh, there you go. <laughs> I know the ballers want to make an uh, make an industry area. Mm -hmm. Right, so uh, continue the rest of the stuff here. Okay, uh, who here knows the uh, way to fly over to? Uh... Yes, I know. You know, I have a waypoint right. there. Okay, because I don't have minimap on this. Uh, yeah, on this install. I got it. So they are this way. All right, ready, guys. Mine All right, we're gonna take flight. Mine grinder. All right, let's go. Got the potions ready. Do we think we'll need them? 
Uh, don't see them online or. No, but yeah, my inventory's full. <laughs> no, but uh, still fun. You know, I craft these. I I, I brewed up. I mean, mind we grew up grew up a lot of these. So, you know. Let's uh. All right, that's uh useful now, right? I just uh. Let's say. Mine, great. I was gonna say the magic word. <laughs> <laughs> All right, fine. He's just a more advanced uh, wizard than I am, so I, I guess that's why he's the Archmage. Alright, excellent. Excellent, excellent. Okay, first off I need to plant the book and the banner. To clear the prank war. Mm hmm good. Oh. I'm not wearing my elytra, I just jumped I... up the hill. Where are you putting this book? I kind of want to see what it what it says. Ah, I see. Herb explosion was bombarded by Storm Master Graffiti. No killing. No stealing resources. Non-lethal. Conduct an embassy for the herbalists. Mm hmm. King Duck. Yep. <laughs> Excellent. All right. It sounds like a party. Shall we begin, or All right, this is your show? Yep. Now we begin. All right, let's go. So, for any of my viewers, um, Kavagram, if I'm understanding correctly, they came to your herbalist base and spammed a whole bunch of banners around. Is that what happened? Yes, they spammed a lot of banners around. So, uh, can't just uh, let them do that to get away with it. That's true. That is true. They haven't done anything to us at all. I, in fact, I don't think they've ever, ever even visited. But uh, you know, you're our ally, so we gotta, we gotta <laughs> show retribution. And the thing is that uh, the only reason they're doing so because uh, and May was there and trying to broker a deal about uh, giving them some uh, much needed wood, which they somehow rejected. They didn't. Oh, well. Even though they need wood. How rude. So now we're gonna give them wood. Yes, we're gonna give them a whole bunch of wood and other plant material just because we're being neighborly, you know? Yep. Excellent. And if that doesn't work, we give them chicken and eggs. And if that doesn't work, we give them villagers. Yes. What do you think they'll do? Do you think they'll, uh, you know, Come back at us. Hmm? Do you think they'll uh, they'll do something to us in in response? Oh, it would be a prank for if they didn't try. But uh, who knows? Maybe they'll surrender right away. <laughs> That's true. I hear the storm masters are cowardly. Let's see a tall. Spruce tree right in the middle of this uh, small storage area. Could it happen? Good. No, no, not much space. Next to it then. How much space these things need? Ah, damn it, didn't work. So two by two, but yeah, they're a little annoying to grow. Also changes their grass to pots also. A little more damaging. Yeah. Did we confirm who was on the team? It was Steel and it was um, Jar Boys. Is that it? I think that might be it. I don't know. Ooh, there goes the tree up. <laughs> I wish I wish the other people uh, you know, doing the Sorcerer's game would record as well, because I'd be very curious to see what Steel's uh, reaction is. <laughs> yep. It would be perfect, but uh, they don't, so we just have to imagine it. Yeah, well, I suppose, yeah, we'll have to, maybe we'll mention it on our next episode or whatever, how he reacts on Discord. 
<laughs> well, the problem is that uh, the place is so huge. They do have a pretty nice spot of land, and I gotta say, that castle, that is one nice looking castle. Let's see here. Okay, a jungle tree right here in their fields. Oh, <laughs> that dominates. Ooh, where'd you put it? Ah, uh, yes, nice. I like that. <laughs> you can see it from miles away. <laughs> ah, mind grinder. Oh, we're both. Oh no, mind grinder. The magic word, shablooey. Mind grinder that just came off the top of my head. I'm I'm sorry. That's a terrible magic word, but I gotta go with it now. It's it's kind of what we're stuck with. <laughs> they could have out of invisibility. <laughs> Where are you? Just on the zone. I got I got some more. I got plenty. Twenty. Right, uh, I am nearing the castle. Yeah, I'm coming. I'm at the castle entrance. Castle entrance, okay. Shabloo! Oh, yeah. Yay, I'm gone again! Yes. The stealth is completely pointless, but you know what? It <laughs> makes it feel more nefarious. More secure, yeah. <laughs> that too, yes. Okay, what more should I? Hmm, some more acacia. Keisha is allowing to uh, remove. <laughs> if it were for the color of the uh, of the bark, uh... yeah, I'm not sure if I would ever bother with it. Mm, yeah, it is very it is a unique color. Yeah. Just... <laughs> oh my goodness! I'm creating a, just a giant bamboo mess. I love it. <laughs> nice. Should probably plant some of my bamboo as well. <laughs> what will their reaction be? <laughs> uh, I can't wait. He's gonna. He's gonna say something. <laughs> it's a shame that we haven't seen Anthony in a long time, but. You know, because I feel like the Fire Nation hasn't really done anything. Who's their only active player is like Love right now. She does, she's doing her own thing. Might be because they're overachievers. I don't know. Who's that? The Fire Nation. Yeah, the Fire Nation. They have uh, pretty much done everything already. They well, that's true. That's very true. They're pretty much. They were very much ahead of the game. Biggest team, most resources. Yeah. Well, you know, they invented the game. I suppose they, you know, had a leg up on everyone. All right. Now it's going to be oak trees around it. Is that a custom tree in the making? Kavagram. Kavagram, you're here. Shablooey. Yay! <laughs> yes, about, yes uh, a custom tree. Making little bushes is actually getting to be a little boring. Hmm. Well, I'm out of leaves. I guess I'll just... Oh! <laughs> Who boy! Forgot I didn't have my lighter on, but luckily there was water here. Oh! Oh! All right, didn't die this time. I think there's still no time to clean up. 
much of it will probably remain as I'll just accept it. Yeah, maybe they'll just uh, accept this as their new life and they'll just think to themselves, hey, we're now just an overgrown nether castle area. I'm gonna get up here and take a look. Ah, uh, it's looking pretty beautiful. There we go, here's what my message is. You thought you could come and spread your banners. You should have stopped and minded your manners. <laughs> Beautiful. Poetry. All right, well, I think... Yeah, I'm back on the staging air island. I'm just planting the last few trees. Okay. Then I'm just gonna pack up and leave. Good night, mine grinder. Have fun out there. Have sweet dreams. <laughs> Good night. He's here! Uh oh. Are yes. We gonna, are we gonna have a sudden dramatic thing now that mine left? <laughs> well, um. How's your invisibility doing? <laughs> I'm leaving now. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna st uh, I'm gonna stay here and just see if he says anything. I'm gonna ask him, should I ask him where he's at? <laughs> uh, yeah, let's uh, tease him a bit. I'll, I'll ask him, uh, I'll ask him what he's gonna be up to. <gasps> he's here, I see him on the mini map. He is definitely <laughs> here. He's... I don't know if he's hey. noticed anything yet, though. Where is he? He's underground. Of course he is. <laughs> he's underground! <laughs> oh, I know what to say. Hold on. <laughs> oh, that's a bit direct, but uh, well, 
It's it, oh no! He'll expect a a beautiful pink tulip uh, gift. Where is he? Oh, still nearby. He, I saw him on the mini map. He's underground somewhere. Uh, I went back to my base, so uh, you have to see it on your video unless you send me the footage. Sounds good. Yeah, <laughs> uh, I'm just walking around invisible, just trying to see if I can see him. I'm gonna sleep in his bed though. Oh, you went to sleep. Okay, good. <gasps> but he's here. He's walking around. <laughs> hey! <laughs> yeah, I don't think he even stopped to read the sign though. There he is. He's just running around. Oop, I think he's coming back to the entrance. He sees it. He's reading the book. <laughs> the Declaration of Prank War. <laughs> mm -hmm. Damn, we should have stayed around. Damn it. <laughs> <laughs> uh, good. I think he likes it. <laughs> oh, I think he saw me. Or he saw me holding something. He's looking around. Oh, I picked up rotten flesh. He's, he definitely knows I'm here now. <laughs> Well, this was a good time. Thank you very much for... <laughs> yes. He likes the bamboo! Oh, that's, a, that's good. I'm glad. <laughs> Alright. Well, thank you for this good plan. This is a fun collaboration thing. Maybe the first of many. Could be. Could be. Well, I'm gonna log off, make sure the footage for this is all good and the replay mod footage and all that. And uh, I will talk to you later. I will do the same. Alright, yes. This was fun, so... <laughs> well, good night! Yes, good it night. It is, uh... It's like 2.30 oh, though, right? Uh, 2.30, yeah. So... <laughs> well, good. Good job. I will, uh... Yeah, talk to you later. Yeah. Well, this map doesn't reflect all the damage that we did, because I did it before the war, but uh, we have we have done it. That's, that was our accomplishment, our, uh, our act of, of war. Um, he did respond, as you saw, uh, he, he copped on, but he did respond on Discord. I mean, we see exactly what he said. He says, Storm Masters declare a prank war on the night sorcerers and herbalists. P.S. Thanks for the flowers, as we cannot use bone mail. <laughs> Alright, well, I guess that's that. Well, I think that's where we're gonna... Sorry, Discord. I think that's where we are going to end today's episode. Um, this was definitely a bit longer than... Uh, was warranted but you know sometimes you know hopefully that's okay <laughs> um i will talk to you later next episode work on the cloud bye